And that is right guys, the title is right, the thumbnail is right. I have bought a Bentley GT Continental. A bit of a wild card, I know. But before we get into the video, this video has been sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to online stores, to marketing and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your online presence and run your business. So whether you run a business, a blog, or even a YouTube channel like myself, the first point of contact is usually a website, which is why it's important to look professional at all times. This is made so easy by Squarespace because they've got so many templates templates to choose from. The templates look so professional and you can just simply drag and drop your own logos and images into them to make your website look unique and professional and consistent at the same time. So guys head to squarespace.com now to get your free trial and when you're ready to launch your website click my link in the description box below to get 10% off your first domain or website. I'd like to say a huge thank you for Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making builds like this possible. Guys if you do really need a website then head to squarespace.com and make sure you use my link in the description. Right Right, let's get on with this video. So when we think of Bentley Motors and we picture the type of person who may own one of these cars, what do we think of? Because I know for certain it's not a skinny jean wearing tattooed thug from Leicester. So what about a footballer? <laughs> Maybe not? Okay. How about a member of the royal family? Okay, okay. Not quite. So maybe you're thinking what I'm thinking. So why a Bentley? If you think I'm taking this costume off then you're wrong because this cost me 25 quid and I intend to get my money's worth. But yes, obviously this is all a joke. There's Please, none of you take this serious in the comment section. So, I was actually looking at another car. There was a few cars I was looking at, one of them being the Audi TTS Mark III, which I posted up on my Instagram and also on my YouTube page as well. But there's two reasons why I didn't buy it. One was because it simply just went for too much for what the work needed doing. And two, it just seems like, it seems like I've already touched in that area, I've already touched in that subject. It was a simple and easy fix for me and I'm pretty much staying in my comfort zone. So this Bentley came up and I sort of seen it and I couldn't believe how cheap it was. I don't know much about Bentleys but I had to do a small amount of research before I went in and bought this. So first of all I just saw the pictures, I just saw the pictures that were online and I could see it had a small amount of frame damage and it's categorised as a category S which is a, a structural damage but obviously the TT was also structural damage and like old cars like this they tend to just write off for the tiniest little things. So, I thought I went ahead with it and I bought it. As I said, I don't know much about Bentleys, whether it's true or not that the parts are generally really expensive and it's going to cost a lot to repair. But this is why one of the reasons why I wanted to buy this car because it's going to be going to be completely out of my comfort zone and you guys are going to get to see me hopefully not struggle too much but I'm, I think this has got a potential to be an absolute beast. It's got a W12 engine in it and it's 560 brake. Now because it's twin turbo you can remap them to be so quick. So 
So I won the car and the car got delivered literally the same day. But not to a surprise because it did say that it's, it runs and drives. It drove straight off the trailer and straight onto and straight onto my drive. Now I didn't do too much research into it but I knew that these Bentleys are heavy cars and I think if I'm right they weigh two and a half ton which showed right here because as we reversed it onto my drive we reversed straight over the manhole which got an aluminium cover over it and it completely bent the whole thing in so we had to repair that cover as well so this car is a pretty heavy beast so how much did I win it for well I hope I got a good deal here it's on 80,000 miles I have only got one key and no service history at the minute but potentially they're going to be sent through to me I actually won this car for 10,000 pounds just think of how much car you're getting for £10,000. I'm sure these cars were list price way over £100,000 back in the day. Now I said I wasn't going to go get changed but <laughs> I think I'm going to because I literally keep seeing myself in the screen of the camera and I just simply can't take myself seriously and I'm pretty sure my neighbours don't either so I'm going to go get changed. I'll check back with you in three, two, one, and I'm back. So let's talk about what £10,000 got me. Well, all importantly, it's got the Bentley's famous W12 engine, holding 560 brake horsepower, and you know what, I've completely forgot what the torque figures on it, but one of you guys can put them in the comment section below. And it actually takes 30 engineers to build a W12 engine, and I think it takes around 13 hours, if I can remember rightly. I've got four 20 inch Bentley alloys, which have Pirelli P0 tires on, which have got a whole lot of tread. The window is actually double glazed. Bentley logo, which actually represents speed and power, is actually different depending on the model of car. I think the reason they did this is to stop replica badges going out there. So if you notice on this one, on the right hand wing, it's got 11 feathers and on the left hand wing, it's got 10 feathers, so uneven amount. I think Mr. Bentley was thinking, you know what, if I make it different, they won't pick up on that and they'll be able to tell a fake Bentley badge. Now this car's a 2006 and it has keyless entry. Unbelievable, Jeff. Now the smell inside here just smells like a really expensive handbag. Now I wouldn't normally go for cream leather, but I think the contrast between the black and the cream just looks really good. It's like the combination of a nice suit. Quite fancy if I do say so myself. Now it takes 110 hours to build a Continental GT, if I'm right. And it really shows like the weight of the doors is unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. And just the quality of everything inside here, you just not believe you're sitting in, in a car which is, which is over 10 years old. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, just to excuse me, I'm just having a massage because these chairs actually massage you. Just check out this Breitling clock here. Now, I don't know too much about watches or clocks, but I know that Breitlings are quite expensive. So think about a Breitling watch. Maybe you'd pay, I don't know, two, three grand. I bought this whole car with a Breitling clock for 10 grand. Now, just about everything in this car is electric down to the steering wheel adjustments, the seat adjustments. It's got a lot of the technology of the car that you'd expect today. Heated seats, it has air suspension which is adjustable up and down. It's got a spoiler which unfortunately doesn't work. It's damper adjusting and it's got a start stop button. Now the carpet inside this boot is so thick. It's thicker than a house carpet in there. A train ticket to Chislehurst, a Casio and Pepe's restaurant in London. So I suspect this car has came from London. Um, you obviously don't have to press the button to open the door. You can simply just walk up to it, open the door. And when this comes on here, it looks like you get three keys with the Bentley when you buy it from new. And as you can see, I have the number one, key. well I have key three, but it looks like key one was Kath. So I'm assuming Kath was the lady owner who goes to, um, Casio and Pepe's in London and parks the Bentley at Chislehurst station as well and she owned this car and possibly had the accident in it. So Kath, shout out to you. I, <laughs> I don't think we'll be meeting anytime soon but if you're watching this video, make sure you click subscribe. Now, of course,
course it's got pretty much half a wing so I suspect what the insurance did is uh, notice it had a big smack here because Kath has maybe pulled out and someone smacked you on the front. The insurance have looked at it and thought, you know what, instead of taking the whole wing off, let's just cut it off. It needs to be replaced anyway. They've cut it down here. They've seen the frame damage and thought, 2006 Bentley, this is going to cost a fortune to repair. God help anyone who buys this car. Let's write it off. Category S. Let's give Kathy some money. While someone like me buys this and attempts to fix it. Now obviously, as well as the wing, it's missing a front bumper as well. A few other parts, but oh, as I said, this is all going to be in a future video and I'm going to be taking you through the sourcing of the parts, the, the costs of the parts this time because a lot of you guys moaned on the previous S5 project that I didn't write down exact costs. With this one, I will be writing down the full exact cost of everything and we'll be finding out can you really buy a cheap luxury car and look rich in it so if you're new here and you've just found the channel through this video be sure to click subscribe and hit the thumbs up button most of this I will be attempting to do on my driveway and it's gonna be a lot of fun for me and you guys as well so for everyone watching this the subscribers the new viewers I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I've summed up pretty much everything on this cheap Bentley this cheap wrecked Bentley that I bought and hopefully you all follow me on the journey of rebuilding this thing and turning it into something really nice. So thanks for watching this video guys. Make sure you have clicked subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.